Jeff here once more to orient your fitness in the right direction and today I want to talk to you about the quadratus lumbar muscle. It's a muscle that commonly can cause lower back pain. Most people don't know about it but you should for that reason. The quadratus lumbar muscle it goes from the iliac crest of your hip here and attaches to your 12th rib and it has attachments to the transverse processes on your lumbar spine and your lower back. So when this muscle contracts it can hike up your hips so it brings your pelvis closer to your ribs. It can side bend you to the same side so it can bring you your ribs closer to your pelvis and when it contracts on both sides simultaneously it helps to extend your lumbar spine more. It helps to extend your spine more. Because we live a sedentary lifestyle today and many of us sit a lot, we're not exercising enough, certain muscles they can get weak from not using them enough and when this happens other muscles have to turn on to compensate for those muscles not working to their maximum capacity. And this is going to segue into how the quadratus lumborum causes lower back pain. So when you sit a lot, one muscle that gets weak is your gluteus medius muscle, a muscle that is responsible for hip stability. And keep in mind how I said the quadratus lumborum, how it helps to hike up your hip, that's going to be important for what I'm about to tell you. So when you say you're taking a step, you're bringing your right leg up to take a step. If your left gluteus medius is strong, then your pelvis should stay relatively level as you lift up your right leg to take a step. But if your left gluteus medius muscle is weak here, what's going to happen is when you lift up your right leg, your pelvis is going to drop. So it's going to tilt like this. Remember how I said the quadratus lumborum helps to hike up your hip? What's going to happen to this quadratus lumborum if your pelvis is repeatedly dropping down like that? This quadratus lumborum is going to keep firing and overworking to help to keep this pelvis more elevated. So that's going to lead to it overworking, it's going to lead to tightness, and the quadratus lumborum, it's right in your lower back and it attaches to your spine. So it can lead to spine compression, that can lead to pain, and even a potential disc herniation, which you don't want. So that's one muscle that can, can get weak from sitting, the gluteus medius. Another muscle that can get weak from sitting is your erector spinae, your main back extensor muscle. And the quadratus lumborum, when it contracts on both sides, it helps to extend your spine. That muscle is going to overfire if your erector spinae is too weak from sitting too much. Basically, you don't want to sit too much, you want to exercise. Pretty much you want to keep your muscles functioning to the optimal capacity that they can be so muscles that aren't meant to take on all that work, they're not overworking and causing you pain. And in my next video, I'll teach you how to stretch the quadratus lumbar muscle. Alright guys, this has been Jeff once more, orienting your fitness in the right direction. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you thumbs it up, commented, and subscribed to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.